Welcome to another Open Spaces Sports Preseason Coaches Football interview and show, this time with Coach Chris Gardner of the Colby Eagles, brought to you by Farm Credit of Western Kansas. And Coach, as you look forward to the new season, uh, what do you expect from Colby Eagle football? Well, you know, we got a lot of returning players back this year, so we should have some pretty good experience. Um, you know, same schedule as last year, and, uh, you know, we just want to use what we had in the summer and uh, be real competitive this year. Folks, if you want to hear more about the Colby Eagle football team, all you do is go to OpenSpacesSports.com. Well, Coach, let's talk a little bit about the upcoming season. Uh, you talk about numbers. Uh, got a lot of lettermen back, right? We do. We have a lot of lettermen. And, you know, they, a lot of these lettermen have played some, some quality varsity minutes, and uh, and that helps as you get going is because a lot of them are upper and upper class now, juniors and seniors, and so that's going to help. But we had a lot of sophomores and freshmen last year that played some special teams and, and got a letter, and so they had a taste of the varsity last year too. You got to the playoffs for the first time since 2009 last year on the road at Holcomb. How much will that playoff experience and getting back to the playoffs roll over into this year's team in preparation for the season? Well, I think it always does. You know, you, you make the playoffs and it's an extra week to get better. Um, you know, you go further in the playoffs, you get extra weeks to, to get better. And, and you kind of build off that momentum, you know. Uh, it, it's an end of the season, and yeah, you ended on a loss, but you ended qualifying for the playoffs. You ended up being one of the top uh, 16 teams in the state that way, and, and you got out of districts. And so uh, it, it builds a little momentum as you get into this next year. Let's go back to talking about the the uh, you know, the depth of the team, etc. Et uh, where do you think the strength of this team will lie, uh, offensively first? Offensively, I, really, the strength is in our line. Now, the depth wise, we're not real deep there, but the guys that we have there have really had a good summer and really did a nice job last year for us. I mean, most of them are coming back. Uh, as far as depth wise, our back end, you know, we've got some really good running. You know, our, our whole offensive backfield. Uh, comes back except for the quarterback and when when Josh was hurt last year Brady got three games in as a starter there too and so uh, you know we've got starting experience coming back everywhere on the offensive side but the most depth part would be our back end our backs. So you got guys that can spell somebody and you're not going to lose much. Right yeah we got a pretty good rotation I think that we can have a pretty good rotation this fall which only helps their legs you know I mean we're sitting here in northwest Kansas so they're going to be two-way players and so uh, you know we can spell some guys so we can get uh, some hopefully some some breathers as we go on both sides of the ball. Defensively, what uh, what will be the strength and what will be the focus? Well, I think I think you know when you talk about this, especially out here, you got to stop the run. You know, there's not too many teams outside of Holcomb uh, that likes to spread and throw the ball around a whole lot. You got to be able to stop the run, and so uh, you know most of our D lines coming back as well. And and I thought they had a pretty good summer up front. Um, you know, we've got some quality linebackers coming back looking at camp. I thought they played really well at summer camp, the linebackers did. And so, um, you know, it, again, it's it's one of those things that we're not very deep D-line wise, but um, we're the guys that we have there have had a lot of game experience and have played very well for us. You know, as I look at the schedule, I mean, uh, you open up with Oakley at home, but then you've got Scott City, if I remember correctly, and we got Holcomb and uh, Hugenden right in there, and, uh, and then Ulysses. Uh, how critical is Game 1 in setting the tone for the balance of the regular season? Well, Game one's always Game one's always good because, you know, you're coming off two weeks of two, two and a half weeks, sometimes three of of camp, and you want to, to understand, you want the kids to understand what we've done in camp and what we've done leads to this. You know, we were very competitive last year in Game 1 uh, against Oakley. You know, you look at our schedule and you're right. You know, we, we're going to play Oakley there – if you look at the preseason magazines that are out there, they're number three or two, four in, in 2A, and then Scott City, which is number two in 3A, and, and then Hugoton, and then Holcomb's number one in 4A Division, 2R Division, uh, Norton's number two in, or number three in 3A, uh, Ulysses is number four in 4A Division one. Um, you know, and then our, our district, Con Concordia and Clay Center, are in the others to watch. And if you look at the Kansas Prep Magazine, so our, our schedule's very, very good, uh, very, very tough, but that's kind of what you want, you know, because in Kansas, you got to get to those district games, and you want to be tested when you get to those district games. And so every week, we're going to go against players that are very, very good. And, and I think our guys are very, very good, too. I think as we go through the season, we're going to find out just how well uh, we stack up and compete every week. Do you, you know, the season is really the last three games of the year, exactly. not the first six games of the year. Right. Uh, 
do you feel you're a favorite in those final three games? Knowing what you did a year ago, you won two out of the three. Uh -huh. Concordia comes back with a new coach and a new system. Mm -hmm. Advantage to Colby? Uh, I, I like to think so. You know, it's at Concordia, which is always advantage to them because it's a long bus ride for us. But, you know, I'd like to think that in the district that we will be, we should be one of the guys that comes out of that district. Um, you know, I think uh, looking at what other teams lost and, and what we have coming back and the way we played in those district games uh, last year, I'd like to think that... Uh, uh, we'd be one of the favorites to come out of there. I, you know, you understand. Uh, last year, getting in the district, you know, we were coming off the year before the previous year. You know, we were over, and then we we broke that streak with Hugoton, and then by the end of the year, we were starting to hit some strides and starting to really play some good football. And so, uh, I'd like to think that you know we can build on that from from this summer and, and start playing a little bit better to start. How valuable we experience for you coming in and leadership. Uh, leadership providing unity for the team, how valuable? Oh, it's huge, you know, especially when you're not very deep. You know, um, uh, we've got some depth issues there, but these guys, the leadership is big because, and, and, and the unity of the team, that's the big thing. You know, coaches, we, we sit down and we kind of go through, you know, what can what can make or break the season? What can do this kind of stuff? Well, there's a lot of different factors there, but one of the big ones this year that we talk about is just playing together. You know, that's that's one of the things. I think we're you know I think we're physical enough this year. I think we're we're fast enough this year. Uh, what it's going to come down to is can we play good team football? Can our leaders build on what we finished with last year? And can we play team football and play for each other and get after it? And because when we started doing that last year things started to really start to roll. And, and this summer, uh, during camp, when we started to play together, uh, we really had a, a successful camp. And so uh, we have to come into the fall that same way. You know, we've got to start it off and get after it and, and understand that our leaders have to lead and, and our team has to come together and play for each other. And, and when that happens, uh, you know, things just, they, they just like a fire, just burn and get going. And that's what we really need. Listen, good luck to you. Thanks for coming in and visiting with me. Good luck to the Colby Eagles. I'll have the opportunity to follow you uh, throughout the entire season as I have for nearly 40 years. I look forward to it. Yeah, listen, this is like best day. This is my best. We start now. Okay, finally we can get started. I'm ready. So, uh, me too. Me too. Thanks, Thanks for a, coming in. Thanks a lot, Rich. Coach Gardner joining us on the Open Spaces Sports Preseason Coaches Show brought to you by Farm Credit of Western Kansas and many other businesses throughout the Colby community. Thanks for joining us.